Okay, finally now to the iPad. How do you get your iPad, my iPad, how to get my iPad to make recordings? So I want to introduce you to this amazing app called Explain Everything. So let's bring Explain Everything into the picture. So I'm going to go into screencasting. It's got this little picture that says Explain Everything over the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to tap on it. Now, I would encourage you to set something up. Um, if you click on this, is to set up an account. Remember we've been talking about getting everything set up with your Google account? Well, you need to link your Google Drive. So if you look about halfway down, it says Google Drive, and I tap on that and click log in, it's going to ask me to type in my credentials. So I am John at johnbergman.com. And I have a password, which of course I won't share with anybody. So. And I'm going to click sign in. It's going to say, uh, can this play around with your iPad? And of course, you're going to say accept. This will be very useful later on. So now what I want to do is I want to create a new project. So there's not a whole lot of options. It's kind of a big black screen here. So I'm going to tap on the plus button at the top first. I'm going to make a crazy simple video. So um, well, let me back up. I'm going to tap the home button, bottom right, right corner. All right. So if I push the plus button, I have some choices of some color backgrounds. You can have white with black, red, and blue. Uh, I'm going to choose the last one. I don't know why, just because I will. So it gives me a different color scheme. Now at this point, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, get yourself, um, I am a big fan of the iPad stylus. So on the back of my iPad, I've got a stylus. So this is an iPad pen. So I will use my iPad pen, you will see, to write. What I'll do is, you can kind of see this, I can write, I can tap on these little color things with my iPad and it's much, much easier to write. So let me bring the iPad back on the screen. So now I've got some things. This could just be a totally a blank white screen. So what I can do is I can tap on the red button. Oh, by the way, if I tap on the red button, I can change the color. Let's keep it red. And I'm now, you can't see me physically doing this, but I can now say hi. This is an iPad. Now I'm just writing on this. I'm just using this to annotate, but I want you to notice, and that's hard to see. Let me pull this up a little higher. I want you to notice this button down here. You see that? That's a big red button. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the big red button now, and boom. Now notice down here, it says one, two, three, etc. That's recording my voice and whatever I write on the screen. So I'm going to go to a slide two. So down here, we've got some buttons. I'm going to tap on this button down here um, and create a new slide, I believe. Oh, actually, let me pause. I paused the video, by the way. I clicked the pause button right here. What I need to do is, is up here, I can add another slide. That's what I need to do. So I'm going to put plus here, and now I have two slides. I'm going to click record. I think I like record per slide. And now I can do a math problem. Let's say I'm, uh, you know, I want to say two plus eight equals what? Of course, that's eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I'm doing a math lesson, and I, I can do advanced math, but I'm not sure how to teach two plus eight is ten. Maybe you say two boxes. I don't know. And then eight boxes. Did I do that right? And that equals ten. I don't know. Whatever. So I'm recording all this. Notice 25 seconds, etc. Let's say that I'm done. I push the red button again. Now I have 29 seconds. Now I want you to notice down here, I've got a several options. I've made my video. Let's see, that's my entire video. I've got a you know minute video. I've got some options. The one that matters, again, is this one. I'm going to change to a green pen, just so you can use other colors. I want to use the one that looks like a video tab. I'm going to tap on that, and now I've got some options. And you're going to see why it was so important that I connected my account to Google, because I have movie to camera. Well, that's nice. It puts it on my iPad. But I don't want it on my iPad, I want to get it back to the Google Drive. So it's the third option. I'm going to click over here to the last option, and I have some choices. Into photos, I don't want it to go to photos. I want to go to, if you look at the bottom screen, I've got photos, iTunes, Dropbox, Evernote, and Google Drive. Now look at Google Drive. I've got grade four Bergman. You see that? So I'm going to click on that. Error getting file lists. You know, that's because there are no files in there. Um, and then um, I'm now going to hit the, oh, actually important, what file do I want? At the top, I can do PDF file, image file, project. I want a video file. I want to create a video. So I'm going to click export. 
it gives me a, a question here. What do you want to call it? I'm going to call it uh, uh, test. And what it does is you can see this brings up this screen, and this screen then takes a number of seconds um, to uh, produce the video. It's then going to upload it to Google Drive, and it's going to go in that folder, and it's going to magically appear. So it's going to appear on my Google Drive in a few minutes. It's still uploading, so we'll wait. So now you can see that it says upload success. Now let me make an important note. I had a problem uploading it because I didn't have something in my Google Drive. So what I had to do, let me back up, is here's this video, it's appeared in my Google Drive. It gave me an error message, so I had to kind of figure out what was going on. So I had to create a new folder. So if you have nothing in your Google Drive, you're gonna to need to go to create just some document, which I did, and I created test two. I just created a document, called it test two, here it is, test two, G. I just put some text in there. So you have to have a document for it to know that you can upload a new document. And lo and behold, here's this video. And if I click on this video, now I'm on the internet, guys. Here's this video. Do you see it? Click play. Okay. It'll play. Sometimes it takes about five minutes for the video to um, uh, kind of process, and I have not given it its five minutes. That's how you get the video to how you create the video and how you get it to Google 